If you fail to prepare, then prepare to fail. That's who I be from the top of my head to the soles of my feet. I can't deny it, wouldn't even try. I'm your girl for the whole wide world to see. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sharon and I am a God girl. So today's video is going to be a recap of week three and four, just because Daniel Fast actually ended um, yesterday for me and I wasn't able to do a week three week really little recap. Um, just because life just got busy and there's a lot going on and I couldn't fit that in my schedule. So I'm here to do two in one two in one recap and just let you guys know how both my weeks went and what to expect and some tips and stuff on what you can do and stuff like that so let's get into it week three week three was a week of like i want to say breakthrough i want to say um this was the week where i really started um experiencing a lot of things like spiritually like in prayer in in you know my sleep in just like every day like hearing the voice of god even more than ever before um i would say it's a week of breakthroughs like there were so many things that were were happening obviously it's personal i can't get into it but uh this is a week where i experienced breakthroughs and um, also like prophecies, um, you know, hearing from God about certain particular things, not just for me, for other people, for, you know, my church as a whole. Like this was the week where there was breakthrough, right? There was breakthrough. And also like this is when you start seeing like your acid prayers, like, you know, start rolling in and you're like, wow, like something is happening this week something you feel like you've hit you know the the rock and you know water is gushing out or whatever um but remember that we too was a lot of resistance right and because we didn't uh give in to the resistance now we're seeing the fruit of it in week three so that was week three for me on a you know prayer spiritual level now it came to fruit, right this is what i was saying if you fail to prepare then prepare to fail what did i say if you fail to prepare then prepare to fail because week three as things are getting busier and stuff like that i had to really um you know make up my mind to meal prep right and i found out that if i had a meal prep if i hadn't like packed food aside for the week or for a certain number of days I was literally not eating, right? Because I'm still on a strict um, diet. And so if there was nothing prepared, ready to go, ready for me to just pick up from the fridge and jump in my bag and go to work or wherever, I found myself not eating, right? And this is the week where you can start finding yourself like um, falling off and like, you know, getting a burger or whatever. Not that I did, but this is what I mean. If you fail to prepare, then prepare to fail. Because you have failed to prepare your meals and get yourself ready, prepare to fail and actually succumb to eating something else. So that was my week three. And also this week, I wanted to try a different alternative to just like um, taking caffeine and stuff like that because I'm a big, oh, I'm not, I wouldn't say I call myself a big caffeine drinker, I just an average caffeine drinker um, especially being at work and stuff like that sometimes you just need that kick that boost of energy and so i was looking for an alternative and i came across on youtube a recipe for a uh, turmeric latte and it was so good guys i'm going to show you a clip um probably here or here showing you like the, the turmeric latte that I made. I added some ginger to it just to give it a little kick or whatever because turmeric can be very strong sometimes and sometimes you need to tone it down. Tone it down. 
So I'm gonna show you um, how I did that and it was really good. It really gives you that coffee vibe without the coffee and it energizes you as well. As well as turmeric is really good for your skin. It has so many health benefits and stuff like that. I'm gonna put it here so that you guys can see it. So that was my week three. Week four, hey, week four. Guys, when they say last days are dangerous, do you guys know what that means? It means last days are dangerous. <laughs> week four is the week where, you know, your body and your mind starts feeling like, you know what, we made it. You know, it's the end of the fast, we made it. And so you can start, um, you know, you can start cheating here and there. You know what I'm saying? Like you can start, you know, because your body and your mindset is like, oh, this is the last week, you know? So watch out for that because it can, you know, catch you by surprise. The next thing you know, you're having a, you know, something you're not supposed to be having, right? You can slip up here and there in week four. It is what it is. I'm not even gonna lie. But this is the week where you just have to watch yourself, catch yourself, um, remind yourself of the goal, and just push to finish hard. It can be so hard for your body and your mind to, to fall in line. But now that you're, you, you've been in the process of training yourself, training your flesh to listen to you, you can literally control whether you fall into, in, whether you give in or not. So week four is very dangerous, I'm telling you. Take it from me, it's very dangerous, but push that aside. Uh, when it came to prayer, week four, listen, week four was like the, the cap, the capacity. We hit, we hit a level in week four where it was as if like a rocket ship had taken off week four in prayer and just like, you know, personal relationship. It was like a, a rocket had taken off and it was going. Like week four was glorious. That's what I would call week four. It was absolutely glorious. The, the presence of God was just marvelous in everything, in everything. Whether it's, you know, in my personal quiet time, whether it was with, you know, in the corporate setting and prayer, like week four. And this week we prayed for four hours four hours okay week three will period for three hours but week four was for four hours and it really wasn't that bad because we had built up to it we were used to it and it was just like okay this is just another push this is just an extra hour let's do it let's get it let's go and it was amazing like week four amazing i can't even begin to tell you the revelations the the, you know, hearing from God, the, the, you know, enjoying his presence and, and just wanted to be there. Like sometimes like you feel like you want to be there longer than just the four hours because it was just amazing. And when you're in the presence of God, you don't even realize that time is passing because you're just enjoying him so much. And so week four was amazing. It's, it was definitely so much different from every other year just because of COVID and like the restrictions and all of that, you know, what can we do, right? But it was definitely still um, very powerful, you know, very, very, very powerful. And week four was just amazing. We capped it off with sanctification day. Usually sanctification day is for 12 hours, which is the last day. Pray for 12 hours. 12 hours okay but this year because of covid and the restrictions uh we couldn't all meet and stuff like that and we did it as a whole so not just my branch but all the other branches um in my denomination uh decided to do it together for a set number of hours and it was definitely way shorter than the 12 but it was still powerful it was still good and that capped off daniel fast 2020 guys this daniel fast was different, but it was still good, right? It was still good, God still, you know, you can never restrict God. The government can restrict your movement, can restrict how you gather, how you worship, but you can never restrict God, never. He is God Almighty. 
you can never restrict him. If he wants to show himself out, if he wants to still um, reveal himself to you, he's going to do it. If whether it's in a gathering, whether it's in your room, whether it's at church, whether it's in the bathroom, so far as you seek the face of God, he will definitely, you know, show himself to you. He will definitely come and fellowship with you and be in your presence. So that was my journey, guys, for this month of Daniel Fast. It really blessed me, really revived my spirit. It revived and re-energized my prayer life. Um, and it's something I want to carry forth. Um, not just for November, but just keep doing, keep at it for the months to come and stuff. So it really blessed me. If you really want to go ahead and try it, definitely do so. Um, track down how your journey is going so you can see from where you started to how you finished and the in-between, what God has done in between. And I'm um, a hundred percent certain that when you when you set out time, when you set out a month, when you set out you know 21 days, 28 days, even seven days, even three days to seek the face of God and to just humble yourself and pray that He will hear you and He will come down to you know listen. He will come down to hear you. He will come down to speak to you. God always wants to speak to us. He always wants to be in our presence. And sometimes we can get uh, so distracted by the things in our lives that we push him to the side, right? But when you decide to just seek him alone uh, for a period of time, he become, like he's so happy to commune with you. He wants to commune with you. So I really hope that um, you know, my recaps helped you. If you find this video and you're doing a done it fast, just know that there is, you know, a glorious end at the end of this tunnel, at the end of this journey, and um, you will definitely be blessed. You will definitely be blessed. You can take my word for it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You enjoy this Daniel fast. I want to hear your stories. I want to hear your journey. Was it hard? Was it easy? Did you? fall off like some of us but you gotta hop back on you know when you fall off you hop back on you know it's not crazy just you know keep it pushing don't feel bad just be like you know god you know so sorry forgive me and keep going so <laughs> i hope you guys enjoyed this video um just try to keep it real and keep it 100 and just you know tell you guys exactly what it is so I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for following my journey uh, during my Daniel fast. And I hope it blessed you and encouraged you to actually take part in it. So I will see you guys next time. Same channel. You better subscribe. Okay. Bye.